A Soir Bleu, a painting that grabs you right away. Your eyes go straight to the clown, don't they? His face is all smiles, but look closer. His eyes tell a different story. They show someone who's lonely and feels out of place. It's like he's quietly asking, is this all there is? Well, this is the work of Edward Hopper. He was an American painter who was really good at showing what it's like to be alone or lost in thought. Soir Bleu is special because it's different from his usual American scenes. This time, he takes us to a cafe in Paris. But don't be fooled by the busy background. This painting is really about what it's like to be human. If you take a closer look at the clown, it's not just some character. He's us. He's you and me, dealing with the stress and pressure of everyday life. Feeling alone even when we're with others, always comparing ourselves to people around us, and feeling like we're not good enough. So, get ready as we dive deep into this amazing painting and find out how it shows what so many of us are feeling in today's world. First, let's get to know the man behind the brush, Edward Hopper. Born in 1882 in Nyack, New York, Hopper was a guy who knew a thing or two about being alone. He wasn't the party guy. Instead, he was more of a watcher, an observer. He liked to sit back and take in the world around him, and you can see that in his art. Hopper studied at the New York School of Art, but guess what? He wasn't an instant hit. In fact, he struggled to sell his paintings for years. He even had to work as an illustrator just to pay off the bills. Yeah, even great artists have to pay the rent. Picasso didn't pay his bills with Starry Night, you know. Well, he never gave up on his true passion, painting scenes that get to the heart of what it's like to be human. He had this unique way of showing everyday scenes, but making them feel heavy, loaded with emotion. Take his famous painting, Nighthawks, for example. It's just a diner with some people in it, right? But look closer and you'll feel the loneliness, the quiet tension. That's Hopper's magic. And here's where it gets interesting. Hopper himself was no stranger to feeling isolated. He once said, the loneliness thing is true. His own feelings of being alone, of being an outsider, they all seeped into his art. It's like he used his paintings to talk about the things he couldn't say out loud. When you look at Soir Bleu, know that the emotions you're seeing aren't made up. They're coming from a man who lived those feelings, who understood the weight of being alone in a crowd. Created in 1914, this painting is a bit of a curveball for Hopper. Instead of his usual American scenes, he takes us on a trip to a cafe in Paris. But don't get too caught up in the romantic idea of a Parisian evening. There's a lot more going on here. First, let's talk about the setting. It's an outdoor cafe and it's buzzing with life. There are people sitting at tables, chatting and smoking. The sky is this deep shade of blue, almost like it's holding its breath, waiting for something to happen. And then there's the lighting, soft but somehow sharp, casting shadows that seem to have stories of their own. Now, the characters. You've got a mix of folks here. A sailor, a woman in a fashionable hat, and others. But let's be real. Your eyes keep going back to that clown, don't they? He's seated at the end of the table, smoking a pipe. He's dressed in his clown outfit, but there's nothing funny about him. His face is serious, almost lost in thought. Like he's physically there, but mentally, he's miles away. What's his deal? He's not entertaining, he's not laughing. He's just there, alone with his thoughts. His makeup is still on, but the person behind the makeup is wrestling with something deeper. It's like he's caught between two worlds. The world of the cafe where life is happening and the world inside his head, which seems a lot less colorful. The clown's eyes are what grab you. They're not joyful or playful. They're tired and maybe a little sad. It's like he's carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders, all the while wearing a costume that's supposed to make people happy. The irony is almost too much to bear. You see, this clown is more than just paint on a canvas. He's a mirror, reflecting what's going on in society today. We live in a world that's more connected than ever. Social media, video calls, you name it. But let's be honest, how many of us actually feel connected? How many of us feel like we're part of something bigger rather than just floating through life like a lone balloon? That's what this clown is showing us. He's surrounded by people, 
but he's never felt more alone. Now let's talk about the mask. We all wear one, don't we? Not a clown mask, but a social mask. We put on a brave face, act like everything's fine, even when it's not. We post pictures that show us smiling, traveling, living our best life. But those snapshots don't tell the whole story. They don't show the struggles, the loneliness, the moments we question our place in the world. And this clown, with his makeup perfectly applied, is doing just that, wearing a mask while wrestling with feelings of isolation and failure. And here's where it gets even more real. Society has these norms, these expectations of how we should act, what we should achieve. Get a good job, find a partner, start a family. The list goes on. But what happens when we don't meet those expectations? We feel like failures, like we're not living up to the standard. That's the weight this clown is carrying. He's supposed to be the entertainer, the one who brings joy, but inside, he's crumbling under the pressure of societal norms. Now let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture, the time and place when Soir Bleu came to life. Painted in 1914, this was a momentous year. World War I was about to erupt, and the world was on the brink of massive change. It was a time of uncertainty, and you could argue that we're in a similar boat today. We've got our own challenges, social issues, a global pandemic, you name it. So, in a way, this painting is as relevant now as it was back then. But here's something you might not know. When Soir Bleu was first unveiled, it didn't get the warmest reception. In fact, Hopper himself was so disappointed with how it was received that he rolled up the canvas and didn't show it again for years. It was almost like the world wasn't ready for what he had to say. Fast forward to today, and the painting is considered a masterpiece, a deep dive into the human psyche. It's funny how time changes our perspective, isn't it? And let's not forget the controversies. While Soir Bleu may not have sparked debates like some other works of art, it did raise eyebrows. People questioned why Hopper, an American artist known for his American scenes, would choose a Parisian cafe as his setting. Maybe Hopper just really liked French fries, or should I say, freedom fries. Was he making a statement about European culture? Was he critiquing the American way of life? The questions were many, but the answers were few. Anyway, the feelings this painting evokes aren't just a thing of the past. They're very much alive today. We're in an age where we're more connected than ever, yet we often feel isolated and alone. While it doesn't matter where you're from, how old you are, or what you do for a living, at some point, we all wrestle with feelings of isolation and failure. We all have moments when we question our worth, our place in the world, and that's what makes Soir Bleu so powerful. It's not just a painting. It's a reflection of a feeling that's shared by people from all walks of life. So the next time you're scrolling through social media and seeing everyone's highlight reel, remember the clown in Soir Bleu. Remember that it's okay to feel out of place, to feel like you're not living up to society's expectations. Because at the end of the day, we're all a bit like that clown, trying to find our place in a world that often feels overwhelming and unforgiving. So what about you? Have you ever felt like the clown in Soir Bleu? Caught between the world around you and the world inside your head? Comment down below and see you in the next video.